Okay, in this tutorial, I'm basically um, showing you an interactive tool that is also located below that you can play with that will help you kind of understand why the period and the phase shift equations are the way they are. Um, you definitely caught really quickly the vertical shift. Um, you noticed if I just change the value, it goes up or down. Um, but you had a little bit of trouble understanding period, meaning the distance from um, one uh, cycle of the graph to the other. So notice how it just starts to repeat the same pattern after you go 360. And you had trouble understanding why the, um, uh, the period was the way it was. So we're going to change um, the value of B to kind of see how that switches. So notice the period on the screen even says 360. But when I change it to 2, notice how now this same cycle um, goes from 0 to 180. And remember the uh, formula was 2 pi divided by b. So if I divide 2 by 2, I just get pi, which is the same as 180. So there um, it is. So you can think of it as two, um, uh, two, 360 divided by 2, which is 180. And again, as I keep changing the numbers, again, my cycle gets, um, if I go higher, it gets smaller because Again, I'm dividing by 2 pi, or 360. Um, so in this instance, 360 divided by 3 is 120. So my cycle stops at about 120 and then repeats. So that's a period. Um, but you had a little bit of trouble on phase shift. So I'm going to change this back to 1. Because remember, phase shift is where I take the C value and I divide it by the V, v value. So again, I'm having it in degrees because I think it'll be easier for you to see than radians, even though we never work in um, degrees anymore. Um, notice again, it's back to 360 degrees as a cycle. And remember, phase shifts moves it left to right. So let's say I am um, take this and I um, change it to 180. Well, 180 divided by 1 is still 180, but notice it shifted. It used to be at the zero, and now it moved to the left um, to negative 180. So I shifted the whole graph one um, unit to the left, or 180 degrees to the left. Uh, again, if I go back to zero, notice how it starts at zero and goes to 360, but when I change to 180, it moved to the left. I hope that helps you a little bit more on understanding where the formulas came from. Um, it truly came from observing the graph, and I thought it'd be easier for you to know the formulas first and then see how the graphs change. I highly recommend that you click on the link and you play with the, um, the movement to help yourself have a better understanding of the phase shift and the um, the I'm sorry, per period. You definitely got a handle on altitude, I mean amplitude and midline and vertical shift.